Ralph Williams, uh, principal technologist primarily in water and wastewater treatment for CH2M Hill, primarily working with our manufacturing clients and helping them design, build, and operate new facilities for operations worldwide. Uh, when I talk about water use for manufacturing, there's kind of four main particular areas that water is used. One being part of the actual product, such as in a beverage product or a food product or pharmaceutical and healthcare products. The other major uses for in process for cleaning, rinsing, making up chemical baths, and cleaning things up. Uh, third, very significant use of water is energy transport systems, both moving energy around, creating steam to drive turbines, recondensing water, evaporating water for cooling cycles and so forth. As we work with our manufacturing clients that are generally water intensive inside their factories, we've worked with them closely to reduce the amount of water that they take and to recycle large amounts of water within the facility. As a result of this, they're finding that the final effluent that they have to discharge is becoming more and more concentrated with just the incoming salts from the city water, for example. So depending on the local water supplies, we're finding a much more need to treat more of the water coming out and essentially extracting the minerals from the wastewater, recovering them to be recycled, and in return recovering that last 5% of the water that we haven't previously recycled in our efforts once we've reduced it. There's a perception that implementing a new program or a new system to reduce water usage or to recycle water or to optimize energy efficiency through a new cooling cycle is perceived to be a rather expensive endeavor. And so a lot of people would say that sustainability is more expensive than it's worth. In reality, we've gone through a lot of energy cycles, we've gone through a lot of studies, and shown that with the increase in cost of energy and the higher value of water available, that the life cycle cost of a, quote, sustainable project tends to be much more attractive than it has in the past, and that we expect that the continuing elevation of the cost of energy to further drive the life cycle costs to be more effective in the future. So through our technology application of new Id existing ideas and new applications, we have the ability to make a project much more attractive than it has in the past. Good example, there was a, a high technology manufacturer that was planning a new facility and they had funding in place, but they weren't sure that they were going to be able to get the permits to install this new plant unless they could validate and prove to the regulators that they were going to reduce their water usage below baseline consumption levels, and then also make provisions to receive reclaimed water from the tertiary effluent of the local municipal treatment plant that was planning to introduce a purple pipe system. Uh, so we went through the design exercise and actually implemented and started up a facility that managed to recover over 60% of their process water from a couple of their processes and bring them back and use them in facility uses that were non-contaminating to manufacturing and as such they were able to introduce and successfully complete this project.